Introducing Office Calendar, the easy, effective, and affordable solution for sharing Microsoft Outlook calendars and other folders without the hassle and expense of Microsoft's Exchange server. With Office Calendar, you can share personal Outlook calendar, contact, task, and email folders with your colleagues, create group calendars in Outlook for group scheduling, Create and share resource folders like conference room calendars, company contacts folders, etc. Manage Outlook sharing security to precisely control what others can see and do, and access your personal and shared Outlook calendar contact and task folders over the internet and wirelessly sync your BlackBerry device with your Outlook data. Now that you know what Office Calendar can do, let's take a look at how it works. There are two simple components to Office Calendar that work together to allow you to share Outlook information. The first component is the Office Calendar admin software. The admin software is installed one time, and it can be installed on any computer in your office, or it can be hosted on Office Calendar secure internet servers if you want a secure, always-on connection for both in-office and remote users. From the admin console, you will enter user information, create shared resource folders, and set what each user can see and do, all with a simple checkbox interface. Next, each Outlook user installs the Office Calendar plugin for Microsoft Outlook. From within Microsoft Outlook, each user will then enter their username and password that you created for them in the admin software, and Office Calendar does the rest, working in the background without interrupting the user while performing their normal task in Outlook. Now that you understand how Office Calendar works, let's see it in action. Let's take a closer look at two fictional users, Ann Casey and James Quinn. We'll start with Ann Casey. Once each user has published their shared Outlook data, shared folders are added to each person's default folder list. Here we can see that below Anne's calendar, three shared calendar folders have been added, one for James Quinn, one for a firm shared trial calendar, and one for scheduling the firm's conference room. Below Anne's contact folder, we can see James Quinn's contact list along with a new client contacts folder. These are the shared contact folders that Office Calendar added to Anne's copy of Outlook. Below Anne's inbox, we can see that Office Calendar has added a new shared email folder titled Website Inquiries. Finally, as we scroll down the Outlook folder list, just below Anne's task folder, we can see that Office Calendar has added James Quinn's task folder to Anne's copy of Outlook. Once Office Calendar has added a shared folder to your Outlook folder list, you can start doing the same things you do with your own Outlook folders, depending on the security the Office Calendar administrator has given you, of course. So let's see Anne navigate to James Quinn's calendar and add an appointment. For Anne, Adding an appointment to James's calendar is no different than adding an appointment to her own calendar. Now let's see what happens within James's copy of Microsoft Outlook. Office Calendar includes an exclusive alerts feature that tells you when someone else adds or modifies an appointment on your calendar. Here, James is alerted that two appointments have been added to his calendar. Here, James can see the Quorum Permit Review appointment that Anne added to his calendar. The appointment appears just as if James had added it himself. Now let's see how James can interact with shared contact folders in Outlook using Office Calendar. As we mentioned earlier, we've set up a client contacts folder that both James and Anne are sharing. Working with shared contact folders is no different than working with your own contact records. Let's have James add a new contact to the shared client contacts folder. Now let's take a peek back at Anne's copy of Microsoft Outlook. When Anne navigates to the shared client contacts folder, she can see the new contact that her colleague James Quinn added to the contact list from his own copy of Microsoft Outlook. 
To keep this overview short and to the point, we can't possibly cover all the features in Office Calendar. However, we hope this brief overview leaves you with a better understanding of how Office Calendar works, having seen it in action. Keep in mind, you can try Office Calendar free for two weeks without obligation before making a commitment to purchase. To sign up for the free trial, visit our website at www.officecalendar.com.